Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to God of War. We're still in Alfheim, although I think that won't last long. We uh, killed the leader of the Dark Elves, uh, at least I think it, he was the leader of the Dark Elves. And, uh, well, he kind of, I kind of got off uh, a, a rage filled episode. Uh, I do apologize for that. Eat shit, you motherfucker! But I really was getting frustrated with that guy. And I, uh, I, I I, like to feel that I channeled a bit of my inner Kratos there. But I've calmed down. And, uh, well, I did notice I missed something at the end of the previous episode. Because there's like two shining elves right over there. The dark elf we killed also mentioned we made a mistake. That we might have uh, helped the wrong people. But uh, let's take a look. Because I feel like getting into the boat won't be that easy. Although it, it might, might as well be. So, yeah, um, I'm just gonna go over here. I'm just gonna take a, a look around for a second, because uh, I think I might have missed a few things here. That, that for a start, what the hell is that? There's like a little bit of a cosmos orb over there, but maybe if I go around here, I can actually reach it. Area discovered light elf sanctuary. Sounds like something we want to visit, especially since we, uh, okay. It might be that the light elves aren't as friendly as we thought. Blam, blam, blam. Where's the other one? I think there's one alive. There we go. There we go. And then there was something throwing projectiles at me. Ooh, I did my first parry on a projectile. That was awesome. That was really, really cool. Okay. So, again, a bit of tree stuff in the way. We should be able to get that down from up there somehow. So, what's this? So that opens up that gate and closes it again, okay. Classic, classic. Um, let's jump over, rotate it and then jump. There we go. I rolled through that, but it, ah, and there's a hole for Atreus, that's fitting. And there we go. And smack! There it goes. I had a protective barrier there again. And one, two, three, and yeah, okay, okay, nope. Oh, for fuck's sake! Finish it off. My this in style. There we go. Successful parry. Hmm. So if I throw it over there. Hmm. How am I gonna do that? Don't really see how I'm gonna pull it back. So, but I can open the gate. Wait, 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 wait. There's a few things going on here. So that's the gate we came through. There's still something on the other side there as well. So let's go here first. Because I think this entire area might be optional. There seems to be another CRN chest. Kurkrun chest. Uh, I'm guessing I'm going to have to check the outside to see what's on the bells. Maybe I should just try them out. That's the R. That's the C, and that's the end. There we go. Opening up the treasure chests. An apple or a horn? Apple or a horn? Apple or a horn? Another apple. Is that two out of three? Okay, so no upgrade just yet, but on my next apple I will get another upgrade, which is really, really nice. Um, that means there's not much else over here, because I couldn't get out of that room. So, the other thing over here is the puzzle with the, well, 
that thing over there. Wait, what? Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. So I need uh, to row. Open that up. And then open that up. I think that did it. Yeah, that did everything. Great, so now we can get through there if I open it up again. Run, run Kratos, run. There we go. And yeah, what's this? Now I'm really curious. What the... Okay! Jesus! Um, smack, smack, smack. Jesus. Okay. Oh, he hit me anyway. Jesus Christ. Okay. Doing fine. Oh, but oh, we're never, definitely not doing fine. Great, let's try that again. So, now that I know what is coming, let's just uh, let's charge up the axe. Blam, blam, blam. Oh, he hit me good there, Jesus. So. Oh, okay. Okay, come on, we're carrying. I should be able to get in there. There we go. Let's get the wolf in. Ah, damn it. They do an enormous amount of damage. And I have a few tricks up my sleeve as well. I think I got the other one. Yeah, okay. Now this should be a lot easier. Jesus Christ. I blocked that, but didn't go through apparently. Oh, what? How the hell did that hit me? I was behind him. There we go. There we go. There's the first one. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. And then... There we go. Slam him out of existence. Okay. That was a tough fight to be just uh, hidden around here. Polished Crest of Defiance. I found a few of the crests uh, lately. But uh, I'm going to have to check those out in a second. I first want to see what this Cosmos thing is. Pulled something out. Don't know what it was. Dust of Realms. Legendary. A formless substance found inside Realm Tears. Used to enhance unique properties of various talismans. Okay. One out of 18, and we got uh, 1,500 hack silver for that as well, which is a nice bonus. Okay, so that is, I think, the one we were missing before, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, now we're on top of the uh, area over here, so from here, should be able to just whack through all three. And, ooh, 
something else to collect. Another elven. Ooh, my fifth out of six elven artifact. That means I'm just one short, but there's another tunnel that just opened up. This side area is pretty big. Ooh, that's a chest, but completely covered. Aha, so there's another, there's a wheel inside of this room. That might actually be it. Oh. Actually moves back. Okay, okay. If I put them equal like that, and I just throw the axe, what happens? Okay, so I just pull them back as far as I can. And then that's just loose. There we go. Did it in one! That was nice. Okay, let's open up this chest. There we go. Is it another armor piece? Ooh. Amulet of Kvazir. A last second dodge activates realm shift, temporarily slowing down surrounding enemies. Upgrading this item increases the duration of realm shift. That sounds awesome. And I think it's better than the little bit of health I get, because I don't have any use for that right now. My health bar is so big that the little bit of uh, healing doesn't really make a difference. So let's just get that in. A last second dodge activates realm shift. Kind of sounds like what you get from uh, Witch Time, I think it's called, in uh, Bayonetta. That sounds really, really cool. Oh god. That one is uh, rather quick. And let's tear him apart. Don't know where that guy came from, but that was a new enemy. I don't think I've seen one of those before with dual wielding axes. The game doesn't tell me I, uh, I've, I've uncovered a new enemy type, so... I'm guessing we've seen that before? Doesn't ring a bell. That's it for this little side area. Because I feel like we're gonna leave this place really soon, so I want to just explore this fully before we move on. So I just went back to the area we've seen before. I just want to check if I didn't miss anything here because I feel I saw something in that cave over there. Yeah, that. Oh, damn it. There we go. Did that drop something in the water? But what was that? Let's take a look around. So this place where we fought the nightmares before, and now we have the light arrows, we can actually activate this thing. Oh, it's another one of those portal thingies. Okay. Just gonna, just gonna smack this up. Rip them apart. Jesus. What the hell is happening there? Smack, smack, smack. And down you go. Okay. Those guys do a lot of damage. Uh, but I survived, I survived. Uh, which means I should be able to get whatever is inside of that place. But uh, right now I'm almost dead. But let's take this. There we go, now we got what we wanted. So more of that uh, pure essence of realms. And dust of realms, no, that was what we found before. So the essence of realms was something else. Interesting. But that was apparently that bit. But the other side of this island? So I don't see anything else on the island, but since we knocked that loose, I'm wondering if we can do anything with the boat here. So this is where we dropped it. Aha! Uh -huh. So Atreus can pick that up. Eight, eight years gold. Okay, more loot for us. 
I'm gonna guess that's it then for this area. I don't find anything else so? here. But, um. You know. Oh, she was not there. Not like you didn't care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? You do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. So that makes me wonder, Kratos... In the light, I felt oh. only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you. That's good to know. Really? So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? Hmm. I think we've seen most of what we could see, unless I could dock here somewhere, but I don't see a prompt. So what I was gonna say is, Kratos left for some Father, reason. We don't know why. Don't know anyone else who we don't know how long. For how long. I'm desperate men at sea who, when our supplies ran dry, would quench their thirst by drinking seawater. They swore the sirens, evil creatures singing to them from nearby islands, were in fact their wives and daughters calling them home. They endangered the crew, steering us toward the reefs. Um, how did you fix them? We threw them overboard. Oh. Yeah, well, that was uh, Kratos. Thing, I didn't drink any seawater. <laughs> right? Yes, it is. It is indeed. So, yeah. Kratos wasn't a nice guy if you didn't figure that out. I think it's kind of reminiscent of uh, God of War 1 started with uh, a, a, a scene in the, on a boat with uh, the Hydra, which was uh, immediately the first fight of the game. You got the fight, well, what the hell? Yggdrasil's Dew of Cooldown. Drink from the Dew of the World Tree brings lasting benefits. Cooldown permanently increased by two. Okay, why didn't I see that before? So yeah, God of War 1 started with a giant fight on a boat against the Hydra, the giant sea monster of uh, Greek mythology. Oh, there's another... Wait, so that means I should be able to... Because I can't... Or can, can Atreus fire his arrows? No, I can't, I can't use my axe from here. Which is interesting. And I don't see a path around here where I can just drop somebody off. This is where we started, so I must have seen our observant. Yes, we were. I am known for my attention to detail. So I'm just gonna check out what was what that was, because we totally missed that area because of uh Sindri probably. Um, so we're gonna check this out and then we'll talk to uh Sindri in a second. But this Oh no, this is where we came from, because we opened that chest with the mask in front of it, but I think it's over, yeah, the chest is hanging over there, so if I... Yes, okay, wow, that was uh, really hard to see, so let's just quickly get in the boat and pick up the gold, I'm gonna suppose. There we go. And it is more gold, okay, fine. So I'm quickly gonna have a little chat with Sindri and uh, upgrade a few things boys if I can. Like gearing up for quite the journey. Indeed. What is the triangle? There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow dwarf converted to his personal storeroom. Packed it with all sorts of treasures he collected during his travels throughout the realms. Throughout the realms? Which ones did he go to? What did he collect? Fafnir was a, shall we say, aggressive collector of magical artifacts. The more he acquired, the more he desired. There was no realm too dangerous, no relic too hazardous. He once ventured deep into Niflheim for a whetstone of all things. Huh. I bet that was quite the whetstone. Does this Must story have, have a point? Yes, it does. I just happen to have an entry stone to Fafnir's storeroom. Ooh. You might find something useful in there. Neat. Thanks, Sindri. What's You're very the catch? welcome. Oh, and uh, if you find that whetstone, well, 
It sure would be nice of you to bring it to me. Huh, that sounds like a plan. Hold the track favor. I'd advise caution if you're heading to the storeroom. So Last it is a mid there, All manner of nastiness had taken up residence. Won't your friend be upset if we steal all the stuff? Oh, <laughs> no. No, not at all. He's dead. I think. Oh. I think. Sorry. No. No need to be sorry. These things happen when one travels from realm to realm collecting priceless artifacts that don't belong to you. So yeah, he stole them in the first place. Uh, let's talk. Sindri, have you always been so... Clean? Huh. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Ugh. So small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside you, they make you sick. But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent. Stops the beasties from spreading. So now, I make all my handles from oak. See? I think of these things. Nice. Okay, back to work. I don't think I heard that last one before. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Boy. Oh, that's fine. Very good question, Color. actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using his own bare hands. Ah. No gloves. Says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be. Touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin irreparably. That means forever. I wouldn't bring it up to him, though. <laughs> You know how sensitive he can be. He's blue because of that silver? That is weird. Sindri, why don't you just make up with your brother already? Me? Make up with him? Because he's an obstinate pighead incapable of change. Because he says the most terrible things about me. Just because he's insecure about his own work. Which, let me tell you, is subpar. Because he blames me for... For the things that aren't my fault. For what huh? exactly? Like what? Would you pardon me, please? I need to collect myself. I think that's the end of the dialogue options. Yeah, indeed. Ready and ready. Well, nothing in particular. I'm just gonna continue on. Um, I did sell a few, well, all of my artifacts. And that gave us uh, a nice boost of uh, hack silver. Because that was actually 10,000 hack silver that I got extra from uh, all those artifacts. So uh, let's get back up here and get back to Midgard. Father. I have a confession to make. Oh? All those voices in my head. Well, this wasn't the first time. Back when we met Brock, his animal warned me about something hiding in the trees. That's why she didn't want to cross. She told you? Well, I could just feel what she was feeling. What she was afraid of. Hmm. It happens again. You tell me. Understand? I promise. That is interesting. So the voices of the the Cocklump, I think the the creature was called, um, also came from within his head. So maybe it's not just hearing voices that he's getting crazy because of his sickness, his illness, but uh, there's actually more to it than that. Uh, so we're back on the bridge, which means yeah, there's the temple. Uh, which means we're gonna leave this place. So uh, let's get back to Midgard. Do we have the same fancy animation now, or uh, is that gonna change? Okay. So there's uh, there's the workshop, but of course Brock isn't here. There's a fast travel point, but do I need the fast travel point, or do I need to activate this thing again? I'm gonna assume this is necessary. We have the light. To Midgard. To Midgard! Okay, that's already active. So that means... Can I activate those? No. So there are a lot of stones around here. The question is, where is Midgard? Maybe I should just go to the center console. Give me a tree bridge. Okay. Touch, touch on the other side, and then let's activate the Tree of Life again. Okay, Alfheim available, but Jotunheim unavailable, Vanaheim realm unavailable. 
and I of course chose the wrong side to go to. Ah, Midgard is the center of the realms to return to Midgard Press Triangle. I'm an idiot. Are you a duke or a dimwit? I think that all the realms exist in the same space, one on top of the other. It's like this room lets us travel without moving. It's, it's, it, it is exactly like that. And this is the, probably the most fancy loading screen I've ever seen in my life. It's so sparkly. Where's the door? Seems to be... How do I get out of this place? Is that... That's not the door, is it? It's not... Okay, let's open that up. Why is it purple? Hello? I think we're back. I hear Brock's hammering, so that should be good. Brock! We just came back from another realm. And we met your brother. Wait, not that order. Did you let that seed saw put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? You're just saying that about each other. One day. <laughs> Try taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on a girl? Quite the opposite. He made some nice adjustments. Hmm. Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. I think that was a compliment. You know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. Oh. Okay, what the hell just happened? Mark of the Dwarves plus one. It's better. By, by just tapping it with the hammer once. Good. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. Okay, let's listen. What is it, Dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari. Been working out in the Velander mines. Haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me. Where's the fancy green ring? Owes me a favor. You look? Of course. If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine. If you find Donvari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. Great. So now we have the Volander mines as well. So we have two favors. I need that which sound like for amazing I'm side quests, actually. You. If you're smart, you'll find him. Just gonna check out his inventory again. So I think I'm gonna buy a new waste guard, which gives me 15 strength and 7 defense. And I lose a bit of runic because of the runic uh, stuff I'm wearing at the moment. I'm sure that'll keep you out of trouble. But. Ah, solid Svart Alfheim steel. I can't upgrade it just yet. Although it's not actually that big of an upgrade either way. I am going to upgrade the rooting forearm braces. So I have another um, enchantment slot there. Best of luck with all the rampage. And that seems to be it. But we can have a little chat with Brock as well. So let's do that as well. What realm you gents shaking off? Let me guess. Alfheim? How'd you guess? I'd know that smell anywhere. Used to spend my fair share of time there, but uh, I ain't allowed anymore on account of the uh, incident. What happened? Well, ain't too sure your daddy's gonna like me talking about it on account of all the swearing and stealing and fucking involved. What? Don't judge me. You're the one came in all reeking of elf. Stirs up a man's memories. Go <laughs> okay, on now. then. I got things that ain't gonna hammer themselves. All right, that seems to be the end of um, <laughs> of Brock's story. That was that was uh, special. Uh, I'm gonna take a little break though. So we got a bit of an upgrade there. We uh, cleared out Alfheim and we got back to Midgard safely. So uh, next time we're gonna be uh, exploring Midgard itself again. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.